Okay, so it's another product review today and I'm super excited because this is a generation free review. So I've reviewed this particular product in its first generation, second, and now in its third generation. So super excited to be reviewing the ShotScope V3 and G3 device. So super excited today to do this particular review and see how much this particular product has come on over the generations, okay? So V3 and G3. So uh, I will go into the differences between V3 and G3 a little bit later as I talk about the differences between the new device, this particular one, and compare it against the old V2. Okay, so we're gonna do what's in the box. Let's have a little look. So as we open it then, I mean the box itself is well packaged, so certainly no issues with this in transit and as it's couriered to you. So uh, it's well made and robust. Straight out of the box, I'm looking at this and thinking this is, this is such a massive improvement. It's like, as I'm looking at it here, as I undo the strap, I mean just the weight is incredible, how light this is, how small it is compared to V2. I mean, I'm looking at my iWatch here and it's almost identical in size, okay, to an iWatch, but lighter, okay? So we've got, look at this, incredible. We have our charger here. So this is a, a new style charger rather than the, the little micro USB that they had on the V2. They've actually now got like a clip style charger, which is uh, really quite cool. That goes on to the watch simply uh, it clips on the left hand side of the watch with the charging port there the little four prong port goes to the bottom clips onto the device really kind of quite simple is there any difference in the tags let's have a little look okay so tags look look the same so okay so let's have a little look at the chips so they're the little pins that go on the end of your, the tags that go on the end of your club. So you can see the little ID mark on them, different clubs there. So you've got 16 all together. Okay, so that's pretty much it out of the box. The device, charger, tags, the V3 and G3. Basically, V3 is the GPS watch and the performance tracker. G3 is just the GPS watch. So the device is actually the same, it's just different firmware on the device, okay? One of the really cool features is the hazards um, and the distances to hazards that the ShotScope V3 and G3 has. So I wanted to test the accuracy of the device. So I've got my laser, let's have a little look. Now I've got the first bunker there, so I'll show you how it works on the, on the watch. So basically you press the the button top right, which is the little hazard marker there. And we're gonna press that once. And then that's the first bunker that I can see there. So 169 to the front, 180 to the back. Distance from here. Okay, so I've got 170 to the back of that front bunker. Shot scope is saying 172. So pretty much on the mark there. So we're approaching the 200 yard marker disc there then so to the middle of the green so let's step on that marker pretty much on the money that is isn't it okay so that's our our little distance check our little distance test so i can conclude really good with the accuracy absolutely spot on how cool is this we have the generations of shot scope so in the black corner, we have V1 weighing in at 50 grams. In the red corner, we have V2 weighing in at a hefty 68 grams. And then in the white corner, weighing in at a lightweight streamline 40 grams, we have the V3. So really cool to have all of the generations of shot scope 
So we've got 2016 edition, the V1, the band, before they introduced the screen. Height of this, six centimeters by 3.4 centimeters. So the original band hosting the technology that, you know, sort of put shot scope on the map with their GPS sort of statistic performance tracking device. So I used this device for a couple of years and then obviously we had the V2 that came out in 2018. So the hefty V2. So six centimeters high by 3.8 wide. These are my measurements weighing in at 68 grams. This was V2. So this one, battery life, not so good, coming in at just over a round of golf, and certainly needed to be charged fully to get a round of golf in as well. So, rolling on to 2020, we have the V3, the slick and streamlined version at 40 grams, lightweight, the lightest device that they have offered. It's 3.9 centimeters high by feet 3.3 wide. So there you go, a really cool kind of design, um, a comparison of the generations of shot scope devices starting way back in 2016. Okay, so I wanted to conclude this shot scope review. So giving you quite a bit of information in this review. So. I've done some testing, I've done some comparison, I've actually taken it and played with it a couple of times. So I've really got a good insight to the device itself, um, tried it out in the field of battle uh, and coming back to you with my honest conclusion to this review now. So generations have advanced, showed you how the device has come on from back in 2016 the V2 in 2018 and the V3 in 2020. So a huge, big thumbs up from me. I love shot scope devices. I like how they, how you wear them. I like that on the, on the wrist and the advancement of this particular device with its size and weight so much better with its battery life, two rounds of golf. And I mean, this has been on standby as a just a general watch to wear. This has been on standby for the best part of three days now, and it's still got you know 40% left of its uh, battery life. So wearing it as a normal watch, it's great. It's accuracy, so both V3 and G3 and their GPS um, tracking and measuring for, for your course play giving you distances to the hazards and to the green, front, middle and back. I did some testing with the laser, so absolutely happy with that and very accurate. Now, obviously with all of these devices, and I'll be honest with you here, there is no device that's absolutely perfect, you know, whether it's one of the competitors um, and there's at least two other devices that use this kind of tracking GPS system for shot plotting. Um, and performance tracking um, and then for you to analyze your play. Now, this does on occasions miss a beat. You know, you have to go in and manually adjust a shot because it's not quite picked it up, um, but then no system is absolutely perfect. So big thumbs up from me, love the device. It is going to be worn every time I play. I will be measuring my stats, my performance on course and using it for its GPS as well. So well done Shot Scope, the new generation V3 device and G3, G3 device as well. Great value for money and definitely in my opinion, the market leader when it comes to a wearable performance tracking and GPS device. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate your support with the channel. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and click on the notifications icon so that when you log on to YouTube, you see my new videos when I release them. Thank you very much. You guys are great.